It's going to be another busy day here on the channel. We have a lot to try and get unpacked today. I have been sitting on a Colby Covington story for two days now. I haven't had a chance to get to it with everything breaking coming out of the Olympics. Also, passed another milestone yesterday on the channel. Made it past the 7,000 subscriber mark. Third, maybe fourth day in a row that we've added 1,000 new subscribers in 24 hours. Thank you guys for the continued support. I wanted to touch on this topic real quick. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, mainly because I don't believe Laurel Hubbard deserves to stay in the spotlight any longer. She didn't accomplish anything. And also, to her credit, Laurel Hubbard said that she doesn't want to be in the spotlight. She wants to fade into the background. So I am not blaming her for what took place yesterday. Once again, I blame the woke media who just can't seem to grasp the concept of what people want to see and what people don't want to see. I am so sick of the damn media. You know who else I'm tired of this morning? Rochelle Walensky. You're probably wondering, who in the hell is Rochelle Walensky? She is the new Anthony Fauci here in America. The Wokers have figured out that Anthony Fauci has lost all credibility with 90% of the population. So they needed a new face for the COVID. And look, got to give them credit. They did a great job of picking a pretty face to replace Fauci, who looks more like Dr. Kevorkian. But just because the Wokers picked a beautiful woman in Rochelle Walensky, who is nice to look at, I mean, she really is, just because they picked a beautiful woman to replace Fauci doesn't mean I'm buying what she is selling. They have chosen her to spread the impending doom of the COVID. The Delta variant is so dangerous. It's spreading everywhere. It's killing everybody. Except that it's not. Go do your own research. You'll see what I'm talking about. Rochelle Walensky, as the CDC director, is now making laws in this country. Bet you didn't know the CDC was now part of the legislative branch of government. Anyway, back to Laurel Hubbard. I got way off topic here. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I haven't even fully woken up yet. I got my trusty pilot coffee right here to uh, wake me up. Shameless plug. Let's get back to the media. They just can't seem to understand what the general population in America want to see. Yesterday, there was a press conference after the medal ceremony for the female powerlifters. In the interest of transparency, the three winners in the powerlifting competition on the podium were actual females, okay? They were born female. They were actual women. The three winners were from China, the UK, and America. These women have trained for years to get on that metal podium. They earned the right to be supported, to be covered by the media with respect. This was their moment. This was their time to shine, to enjoy the spotlight. Now let's be real here. For Lee Win-Win, Emily Campbell, and Sarah Robles, more than likely, this will be the last time that we hear their names for at least the next four years. And look, they were taking advantage of the moment. They were chatty, giving lengthy answers to the media's questions. It was a nice little press conference. They were enjoying themselves. They deserved it. But you know the woke media. Just like politicians never let a crisis go to waste, case in point, the COVID, the media can't let an opportunity to promote the woke agenda go to waste. I can't find the reporter's name. I wish I could because I would blast them right here and right now. I looked everywhere for their name, couldn't find it. But in the middle of the press conference, some nameless reporter asked the following question. There was a historic night here with Laurel Hubbard competing as the first openly transgender in an individual event. I was wondering what you felt about that and what you felt that took place in your sport. That pause I just took right there, that's how long there was complete silence after the reporter asked that question. The three athletes, real athletes on the stage, they sat in complete silence. Finally, 
Sarah Robles replied, no thank you. She was a hell of a lot nicer than I would have been. What she should have said or could have said was, what the hell does Laurel Hubbard have to do with the three of us? Or if the reporter were smart, he could have phrased the question like this. How does it feel as a female to be able to defeat a biological male in powerlifting? Because let's be real here, Laurel Hubbard may have transitioned, but she is still biologically male. This reporter claiming Laurel Hubbard made history blatantly disrespected Sarah Robles, who made actual history at the Olympics. She's the first American woman to win two medals in weightlifting. But the woke media, they're not going to mention or celebrate that. No, 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 no. We don't celebrate actual accomplishments. We don't celebrate hard work. We celebrate a man putting on a damn dress and calling himself a woman. We celebrate a woman like Laurel Hubbard. We claim Laurel Hubbard made history by getting out of bed, showing up to the Olympics, failing to even lift a 20-pound dumbbell off the ground, and going home. Again, I have nothing against Laurel Hubbard. She is not shamelessly promoting herself. This is all on the media. I told you guys the other day, with Laurel Hubbard losing, the media would use this and say biological males who transition from male to female do not have a physical advantage over women. Headline over at MSNBC, Laurel Hubbard just shattered a transphobic myth. The premise of the article, because Laurel Hubbard lost, it's obvious men aren't biologically stronger than women. The LGBT community, the trans community, they are being used by the media. I received an email last night from a transgender woman. I'm not going to read the email to you. I don't want to violate her privacy. When I read the first sentence of her email and it said, I am a part of the 0.6% of the population you talk about all the time, First thought was, here we go. Another woker about to vent their frustrations to me about my content. That was not the case. This woman obviously gets it. She understands that the woke media is using people like her to promote a political agenda. She said it herself. The woke media wants us to believe there is no biological difference between a man and a woman. They are trying to confuse everyone on purpose. They are trying to keep us divided. If someone in the media watched my content, they would call me transphobic, homophobic, racist, misogynist, any name you could think of. They would try to discredit me. But there are people in the LBGT community that are not woke. Matter of fact, I believe that a sizable portion of the LGBT community isn't woke. They're just normal people. The media just finds the ones that are and they use them to propagandize the rest of us. It's the same thing they're doing with African Americans. They use LeBron James as the voice of black people. And they want us to think that every black person in America thinks like LeBron James. It is not true. Matter of fact, it is far from the truth. I cannot tell you how many emails I receive from black people who are disgusted with LeBron James, who are disgusted with the woke agenda. Anyway, I'm out of time for now. I've got something to take care of this morning, but we will be back later this afternoon. Like I said, we've got a lot to unpack today. Give me your thoughts on the media injecting Laurel Hubbard into the conversation at the press conference after the medal ceremony yesterday. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.